Hello, hello, hello everyone, it's Cynthia Toa, Miss Clippy, your Gypsy Metaphor, and your inspirational coach, and I'm here getting my window, windshield repaired in my car, right? And I'm sitting here getting ready to record, and what drives by, you gotta, you gotta, I mean, I can't make this stuff happen. An orange Mustang drives by, right? And as an orange dress Mustang drives by, I go outside to make sure that that's what it was, and it had the black stripe, right? And then the car dealer, they're pulling my car around, so my car is behind the orange Mustang. It's like, it's so cute. I mean, I can't make this stuff up. That's what keeps me, my life exciting, is enjoying what the universe is sharing with me, what it's showing me. It's showing me to keep believing in my dreams, no matter what. So let's see what cards had to say for the collective today. Let's see what the beautiful cards had to say. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Yeah. I'm waiting for my window to get done, so we're doing the reading, <laughs> and I'm working, <laughs> I'm working, I got my back to the world, not paying attention to the rest of the world, just working away, doing my thing, <laughs> doing your thing, <laughs> that's what you're doing, this is for the collector, not for me, but you know, always include me in, in the readings, okay, let's see, uh, doing your thing, doing the work that you love to do, so you can actually be on top of the world, enjoying life, enjoying <laughs> life to the max, to the fullest, <laughs> doing what it is that you love to do. <laughs> Come on, cards, behave today. And they go, well, we're in a strange place. I'm going, that's all right. I take in strange places all the time. <laughs> all right, next card out is, is what? <laughs> Too many cards came out. Can you just give me one card? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm, uh, let's see, on Mondays and Thursday nights, I'll go live for your hidden love story right here on this channel. I am a TV host for that. And um, I, I give free readings on that show for um, three to six hours. And uh, come on over and join in. It is a random draw for you to get the reading. So, and you have to be present to get it. This has to do with an unconditional love story, an unconditional love connection. This is a soul commitment connection going on. There are things that you cannot see that are hidden from the hidden within the shadow of the moon that your wishes and dreams that have been put out to the universe are truly, really coming true. Like me seeing the orange Mustang all the time. I mean, I got to drive one the other day. I mean, you would think that they're all over the place, but they're really not. I and mean, I can ask anybody and they never see one, but I see them all the time. The universe is working really, really, really hard behind the scene to allow this wish, to create this wish and have that wish and dream come true. Woo, 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 woo. Come on universe, you can do it. You know how to work the magic in this show. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That divine masculine, he had, he, a long time ago, he did put a, plant a bunch of seeds and those seeds started to grow the root and those roots grew this plant. He never truly realized that he could grow this beautiful plant that has come his way. But that plant started to grow so beautiful, it became crystal clear to him that was the sun. <laughs> that was the sun shining in his life. That's the, the sun is the brightest card in the deck. This also um, couldn't... Um, uh, yeah, a rapper is in it, uh, like a soulmate connection, but a twin flame connection, especially with it coming out with the um, the Ten of Cups also. So we'll see if more cards come out to represent the twin flame. <laughs> let's see, let's see what else the cards have to say right now for the collective. Hmm. It's a timeless reading. They're always timeless. Ooh. And on the ground, it's like, yeah, the divine feminine, she's, she's gone up to the mountains, <laughs> she's gone up to the mountains, and she's learned quite a bit, but now she's packing her bags, and she's got places to go, <laughs> she's got places to go, I wonder where she's going next, <laughs> I wonder, I wonder, must be someplace exciting, <laughs> yeah, I wonder where she's going next, it is, um, and since there is a divine masculine, he this is uh, he's grounded, he's whole, he's complete. He's read all those books, and he knows exactly what those books have been telling him. And it has put a great big smile on his face. He has, and he wants to come forward and be loyal with this offering that he has from his heart, because his heart has been pounding. It's been pounding and pounding and pounding so hard. It makes him feel so light. It makes him feel so floaty. But he feels pretty darn lucky to be able to feel this way. He never 
knew that feeling could ever come within the lifetime. So he's, as, as the Divine Master wants to make this forward movement because he's gotten strong, he's gotten courageous, he's gotten stronger than that lion, he's leaving the lion behind, he's, he's operating from his passionate self, he's operating from his desired self. And that's when the will of fortune of change comes in. This is something coming in that's changing for the better. This is a divine order, a divine change. A divine change is happening to allow a union to come together. This is a partnership to come together with excitement, with joy, with happiness, with laughter, with play. And these two, they really belong together. And the universe is in the middle of making it happen. And I don't know how it's going to make it happen, but it's going to make it happen. <laughs> Somehow, some way, the universe rules the world. <laughs> yeah, I, divine. Divine is actually the one that's in charge of what we are doing next. <laughs> Like me being here at the car dealership, getting my window done. They did give me a $200 discount, you know. <laughs> and the reason why a divine can work this way, because divine says it's divine. It gets you to look at your story a different way. Look at the story through a different mindset. Look at the light in the story. Look at how bright the story can really be when you hang around long enough. <laughs> That's what allows this divine masculine. This divine masculine, he goes, yeah, I've been hanging around long enough. It's changed the way I think. It's actually changed the way I think. So I'm more calm. Um, I'm more at peace. I'm, I'm, you know, getting to understand this story a little bit more. And then we have the divine gentleman, which is the counterpart to to this king, you know. And she's also she's been thinking, and and she's been on this journey together. But she has also been protecting her heart. These are two. These are two people that actually they belong together. They are counterpart, but they are also single. Mm -hmm. They single. They are really. Ooh, that's nice to know. <laughs> we want a single. We want a single masculine <laughs> and a single big feminine to come together in this magical way because they belong together. They they belong together because divine said they belong together. Mm -hmm. That's the next card out here for the collective today. Yeah, the divine masculine. He's got all those tools up his sleeve. <laughs> he's been. He's been creating the magic. He's allowing the magic to take place within this connection with, to come together with the infinite source, with the brightest light, to be so magical with a cup of love, a cup of love that overflows so much love. This is the Ace of Cups. It has more love in that cup than any other cup. And it has so much love, it overflows over. Mm -hmm. Yeah, come on, Divine Masculine, show us your love story. <laughs> we got your number, you got ours. <laughs> yeah. Well, you see, he's in love with this Divine Feminine, this Divine Feminine that she gets up on the stage. When she gets up on the stage, she enlights everybody else. She, you know, see everybody else, they're raising their hands. She inspires them. She gets, she raises their spirits. She makes them feel special. She makes them feel whole. She makes them feel complete. This is a this is a happy ever fairy tale dream of a story going on right here, to come together. You, this is divinely coming together with unconditional love, having love with all areas of your life, everything that you ever wished for, everything that you ever wanted to come forward, to come true, to come into your life right here, right now. Come on, baby, you can do it. <laughs> it is a, it is a fairy tale dream of a story. A story that you never, ever, ever felt like before. But is it an appointment? Is it an appointment that Divine has been setting up? So it's on Divine timing. <laughs> that Divine Masculine, he's been blending. It's like blending the, the lower emotions and the higher emotions together. So he's in balance and he's getting some brand new wings. Mm -hmm. Those wings so he can flap those wings to fly to his Divine Feminine. <laughs> Come on, baby, fly on over. <laughs> Put those wings on. You can do it. You can do it. You know you can. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Anything else for the collective right now, today? Mm -hmm. and, um, when that divine masculine he gets his wings on it, <laughs> makes the divine feminine feel joyful, grateful, makes her even feel worthy. She feels special. She, she's elated and, and excited. This is the empress. She's been nurturing the world and taking care of herself in the process as those sun rays are around her all the time, feeding her soul, feeding her spirit, being grounded, being whole, being complete. And that puts another divine couple on the table. So this divine couple, they are solid, they are grounded, they are whole, and they are complete. They are a counterpart. They belong together. Mm -hmm. They do, they do. Mm -hmm. 
what else, what else we got for the collective right now, here today, as the story grows. <laughs> whoa, 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 in the Divine Feminine, it constantly is protecting her heart when she's resting. Just like when, uh, when she's protecting her heart, she is being the Empress, nurturing herself as she nurtures the world. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Anything else for the collector right now, right here today? Mm -hmm. It's a brand new offering. The offering is coming from the universe. The universe has an offering that is offering it to you. It's saying here, it's like it's coming out of nowhere. The offering is from the divine masculine. It's from unconditional love. He has an offering of love. He wants to offer you those flowers. He has this love letter that he's been writing to you over and over and over. Who knows how many times? Because, it, you know, it, he just loves you so very much. <laughs> And, and, and that brings this soulmate connection, this soulmate connection. They belong together. That's why he wants to make this offer. He knows that they belong together. This unconditional love, they're coming together. And the divine feminine, she doesn't see it coming. She truly doesn't see it coming. But that divine masculine, he's in the middle of making choices to come on forward on his, in his Mustang. <laughs> on his Mustang. And he wants to take you to the beach and hang out with you. This is Cynthia Toa. Man. Yes, look at your gypsy medicine woman and your inspirational coach. Please remember to hit the like button, hit the share button, hit the subscribe button. And until next time, see you later, butterflies. Woo! <laughs>